December of 2020 might be the toughest month yet for people struggling mentally. Hanukkah begins tonight and Christmas Eve is just two weeks away. But with a new stay at home order, families could forego holiday gatherings. Rochelle Metzger gets some advice from mental health experts on how to cope with holiday depression. If you've got the holiday blues, you're not alone. With Atrium, we've seen an increase in people reaching out. Um, I, I think because of COVID, people are recognizing more signs of depression in themselves than family members. Studies have shown that around 80% of all Americans are dealing with some form of depression or stress since the pandemic began, causing the country's depression rates to triple. People are nervous, I think. People are feeling anxious about um, the pandemic about the vaccine coming. There's a lot of questions and upheaval. And that on top of some regular holiday stress can be a bit overwhelming. Financial stress and a new stay-at-home order could force families to forego holiday gatherings, leaving many to feel more isolated than ever. It is important to get out, get that sunshine, we always say in, in the mental health field that exercise is so important. And keep expectations in check. Throw out the high standards set for holidays past and accept that this season will be different. Maybe the old traditions of gift giving or visiting people can't happen, but maybe new traditions, uh, creating silly videos that we share, uh, Zoom calls with extended family members who maybe you wouldn't even normally see. Kate Penny, a clinical mental health counselor at Atrium Health says, most of all, remember, it doesn't have to be perfect. There is no perfect holiday, COVID or no COVID. And, and knowing that there are different traditions that you and your family can try to do. Rochelle Metzger, Fox 46.